Hello everyone, this is JD Calderon and this is Indie Comics Explained. Today I'm going to take a look at some indie books that I picked up, well, except for the Lucifer one, which is from DC, but anyway, still good stuff. Uh, I got Brick a Brack, Cyber Frog Blood Honey, which are two indie go-go's that I invested in. Uh, Lucifer from DC, this is from the Sandman universe. And we have Berserk Unbound, which is from Dark Horse. So I just want to say that I'm sorry I haven't been around lately. I have been at work. I work, I'm in New York City and I work in one of these places where they're considered essential. So we're still open and I'm over there way more than I like. Um, but I'm fine. And most of the people I work with are fine and everything's good. And hopefully everything will continue to be good and I hope everything's good with you guys. Just to let you know, um, uh, before I begin, I have a... Kickstarter going off for the Oswald Chronicles. Whereas Oswald Chronicles 1 through 7, my time with Clive, where Oswald is uh, roaming a dream with a Cyclopean babe by the name of Clive, and he's and he's having adventures and he's looking for his parents and he's trying to get them back and he's trying to reunite them with his parents. Alright, so let's move forward. Here we go. Alright. I think I will start. From the back, Berserker Unbound, Jeff Lemire, Mike Diodato Jr., Frank Martin, Steve Wands. And this is, uh, it says one. I don't know if there'll be any more of these. It seems to be pretty complete the way it is, and I don't think there's any intention of, of producing any more by these gentlemen. And I have to say, <clears throat> in, sp in spite of the talent, I, I mean, I kind of enjoyed this book. But I enjoyed it for, I guess, all the wrong reasons. Jeff Lemire wrote this, and I'm a huge Jeff Lemire fan, and I love his stuff. This is one of the few books where it just feels like it was written, and it was kind of done, not so much as a favor, but it was just kind of done like, it was just like, okay, well, let me just do this. Um, the one thing that you want to get this book for, and trust me, there is a reason to get this book is Mike Diodato Jr. His artwork in this is incredible looking. As a matter of fact, I like it so much, I would really, re if Dark Horse reprinted this tomorrow in black and white, because that's really how I would like to see this, is in black and white, that's how I would prefer to see this. There's just so much work in here. Mike Diodato Jr., I mean, just goes all out. I know he stopped working for Marvel on maybe a year ago or so. And he just wants to focus on doing other things. He's retired from, I guess, doing caped comics. But his work in here is just incredible. Like his pen and ink. And actually, I don't even know if his ink, because I know there was a thing where he uh, pencils, but he, he uses his computer to darken the lines. So who knows? But the artwork in here is incredible, nonetheless. I mean, it's really fantastic looking. It's the reason to get the book. The story itself, I don't want to call it mundane, but it, it, kind of, it kind of falls into that area. It's just a barbarian from the past coming to the future and, you know, find somebody who helps, they, who helps them out and they become friends and they go back in the past, blah, blah, blah. So... You know, it's pretty it's pretty simple stuff but the artwork is incredible and and the story itself i mean there's nothing wrong with it it's just kind of basic you know but it's well written it's jeff lemire is very professionally done so i definitely suggest getting this if you can this is a good book but it's a fantastic looking book is what it is <laughs> those are my parakeets they keep tripping all right then we have Sandman universe from the mind of neil gaming Written by Dan Ward, is illustrated by Max Furiyama. Sebastian Fiumara? Fiumara, I guess, same last name. Okay. And Kelly Jones and Dave McCraig. I'm sure I brutalized a few of those names. I apologize for that. So, you know, we have um, Lucifer, who's <laughs> for some reason become a very fascinating character in uh, literature. And he's one of these characters who I guess he's evil and people try to give him justification as to what he's done and his whole story. The artwork in here is, is fantastic. I just always have had a problem with him making the devil into a hero. He's a devil. 
you know, and he's kind of treated as such. It's not like he's just like a saint and he's done nothing wrong. No, of course not. You know, he's he's an arrogant prick. Um, and he has his pains and he has his tribulations and he has his own son in this. And it's a very interesting story. I like it. Uh, it's very well done. Um, I'm, I actually have the Mike Carey on the bus still sitting on my shelf. I have to finish reading. Well, I have to start reading. This is good. I really enjoy it. But like I said, I have a problem with them kind of glorifying the devil. I guess as the old Catholic. I mean, I was raised Catholic. You know, I kind of describe myself as a recovering Catholic. <laughs> but um, I do, you know, believe in certain things. And it's just, uh, this is sort of thing just kind of freaks me out. So it's just kind of funny how that, uh, that, that old teaching is still in the blood. So, you know, that's that. But this is really good stuff. I've been enjoying this line of, of books from DC. I hope it continues. I th it seems that Neil is doing a very good job curating the line. I collect at least, I th think there's four books, possibly five books. And I, I collect, I, there's only one I don't collect. And I won't mention it. I didn't like it. I didn't like what the writer was doing. It felt a little weird to me. So I just stopped buying it. But I'll be picking up, like I pick up this one. I pick up a couple of the other ones. And, you know, <laughs> I'm sure you can infer... By seeing which ones I, I review, which ones I, I like, and, I, and which is the one I don't like. So, that's it for that. All right. <clears throat> Next up is Brick a Brack. All right. Number one, this was a uh, book I got from Indiegogo. All right, so you got Ryan Hack, artist Raphael Sam, interior design by Tobin Brackicott, and the designer is Milton Aguar. Okay, Aguar. Aguar. Okay. Um... The story is about a world where Christmas is basically the main, the main thing that's going on. But look, the story is a lot of fun. It's very, um, I guess, I guess you could say it's aimed at kids. It's very nice, you know, cartoony style. Since I'm doing the Oswald Chronicles, the sort of thing that kind of sings to me. I really enjoyed it. I really like the look of this book. This is a really nice looking book. It's printed very nice. I love the artwork. Story is a lot of fun. Looking forward to the second issue. Probably that's the only thing that I, that I, I regret is that there's not a second issue at the moment. I know he has another uh, Kickstarter going on. I think um, Ryan has another one going on. It's like a horror anthology. Not really my thing. Not too big into anthologies or horror for that matter. Although I do. It depends. It depends on who's doing it. So, But this is something I definitely want to see more of. If he puts this out again, I'll definitely be getting the second issue. All right, the next one up. I still have it in a bag. I gotta take it out of here. Okay. And this is Cyberfrog Blood Honey by Ethan Van Skyver. Um, you know, Ethan's a bit of controversial guy. I don't. I've listened to his podcast once or twice. It's usually three hours. I if I get into fifteen minutes of it, it's probably pushing it. Uh, there's a lot of goofiness that goes on there. It's a lot of guys being guys. So it's a little juvenile at times. But this particular story, I actually enjoyed it. I enjoyed this more than I thought I would. I thought, you know, I said Ethan's not really a writer. And I could probably say that is the case. But he did actually do a decent job here as far as the writing is concerned. The only thing is that the only issue I have with this is that the first portion of the book is basically a recap. And where it ends, I guess, is the newest, newer portion of the story. And it just ends there, and there's obviously a lot more that goes on. So that's the only thing I miss. I would have liked more. So, and I think that's a really, that's actually a compliment more than anything else. Because it's not really a criticism. I want more, meaning... You know, I want more. So I know there's a second... He has a second Indiegogo going on. I will probably end up uh, pitching in for that one. I haven't decided yet. <clears throat> My thing is usually... I'm usually a trade waiter. I like to wait for trade paperbacks. I like to wait for omnibuses. That's the sort of thing. Ethan is producing this at an incredibly <laughs> slow rate. I mean, I think he's producing a book a year, which is a little... A little slow. I mean, he's, he's producing it on the same level as the French. The French usually produce one book a year, and it's pretty damn slow. 
So if I wait for a trade, it'll probably be like another five years before we see it. <clears throat> but the artwork is fantastic. Ethan is an incredible illustrator. Very accomplished. And the writing is good. It's it's not great, but it's good. It's it's serviceable. And that's pretty much it. I mean, you know, I'll probably, I mean, like I said, the second one, these things are a little expensive. They're 25 bucks a pop for a single comic. Um, you know, he, it was nice of him. He signed it. But, you know, I think I'd rather wait for a trade. So that's my only thing. So, you know. But to recap, we got Cyberfog, Brick a Brack, Lucifer, and Berserker Unbound. These are all good books. I would suggest any of them for anybody. Um, you know, the standouts being Brick a Brack. Lucifer was actually good. Like I said, it freaks me out a little bit because of the main character. Uh, and Berserker. Excellent art. And Cyberfork was a lot of fun too. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much. If you want to check out some of my writing, go to theoswellchronicles.com or talltalesonline.com. If you want to help out, support the Oswald Chronicles, go to theoswellchronicles.com, hit the link. There will also be a link below this. Like, subscribe, share the video. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll be talking to you soon.